A warm welcome to everybody joining our today's presentation about cool SIC MOSFETs in 1200 volt D square pack 7 legs. My name is Michael Völker, and as I am the product manager for silicon carbide discrete in industrial applications, I will be your host of today on behalf of our entire development and marketing team. Infineon already supplies silicon carbide solutions for more than 20 years. It's my pleasure to introduce you today the new product family we have just now launched. A market news you can find on our webpage as well as all related documents on our product page under www.infineon.com. Here you can see an overview of the entire portfolio we are currently offering in respect to silicon carbide components. On the lower side, you can see a lot of silicon carbide short key barrier diodes in diverse packages and voltage classes. But I would like to draw your attention today to the upper part of this table. In the left and middle columns, you can see our cool SIC MOSFET portfolio as until the middle of this year, predominantly in tier 247 packages with three and four legs. By the second half of this year, we have added the additional portfolio of 1700 volt cool SIC MOSFETs in D square pack seven legs. Now we introduce the next complementary product family of 1200 volt silicon carbide MOSFETs also in D square pack seven leg. Both the 1200 volt and 1700 volt D square pack seven leg families come in packages optimized for their respective voltage class in terms of clearance and creepage. But let me come to this a little later. We are offering the new product family in the range of 30 to 350 milliohm, as well known also from the TO package portfolio. Here you can see our main target applications. Drives with respect and a clear focus on servo drives, but we also see a very good fit for this product in industrial robotics and automation applications. Outside of this, also small chargers and industrial SMPS will benefit from the features we will explain to you. In the last couple of weeks, we have also seen a lot of requests from Solar Inverter customers due to the excellent fit of the SMD package. Let's now focus, first of all, on the inside of the new product family. Inside the chip technology is our well-known trench-based silicon carbide MOSFETs. Therefore, the main features that are shown here should be already known well by the community. We are able to offer very low switching losses, actually benchmarking with respect to competition. We can offer the exclusive feature of three microseconds short circuit withstand time that is unique for silicon carbide MOSFETs and only available with cool SIC MOSFETs from Infineon. Short circuit is actually crucial for the use in servo drive applications. Due to the trench design and the high threshold voltage, zero volt turnoff is enabled in our products, which allows customers to simplify the driving circuit immensely. Last, but surely not least, as can be expected from a silicon carbide MOSFET, a robust body diet is included, which can be used for hard commutation. Now let's together have a look into what we can offer now in the servo drive sector. Our development team, together with leading suppliers and our lead customers, we have developed some very specific and even ideal for the use of servo drive application features. What are now those major benefits to take into consideration? First of all, we can offer a significant reduction on the losses compared to IGBTs. We will come to this detail in a minute. In addition, the SMD package enables a simplified manufacturing at our customers. Basically, it's now possible to have a fully automated manufacturing line. As a matter of the very low losses, we even enable our customers to use fanless drives, which reduces the need for maintenance to a minimum or even eliminates maintenance in the field. Given this feature, fully integrated motors can be realized. The inverter and the motor become one, and we will also show you this in a minute. But first things first, let's start with why is it possible to reduce the losses so significantly compared to IGBTs currently used in the market? It is closely related to the very specific operating modes of servo drives. In servo drives, you usually see short periods of high acceleration or braking where high power is used due to high torque. And then, when in nominal operating, relatively low current, which is mainly 90% of the time the case. This is a very specific driving cycle with most of the time in low torque operation, and it's very beneficial for components having a linear output characteristic like silicon carbide MOSFETs offer. In acceleration modes, 
at least in lower temperatures, we can outperform the IGBT. But especially when we go into those constant operating modes, we're able to drop the conduction losses by more than 85% when compared to state-of-the-art IGBT-based solutions. Also, when we go into braking modes with reverse output operation, we can see the same situation due to the body diode. We're able to reduce significantly on conduction losses again by up to 20%. As you can see, conduction losses can be reduced in all operating modes. Please do not expect to see a different picture when looking into the switching losses. Even if those are of course heavily influenced by the switching speed, even in the low DVD-T range of 5 to 10 volts per nanosecond, which is typical in servo drives, the total switching losses can be reduced by up to 60% compared to today's IGBT. The effect predominantly comes due to the negligible QRR, the elimination of tail currents and the temperature independent switching behavior. Again, when looking at the comparison with results derived from an actual experiment, in periods of acceleration and braking, the switching losses can be reduced by 50 to 60%, and even in the main operating modes, where, as you can see, the losses are already very low compared to high torque modes, it is now possible to reduce the switching losses at constant speed modes again by even up to 20 to 30% depending on the switching speed. Needless to say that at high switching speeds of more than 50 volts per nanosecond, it's not even technically possible to use IGBTs. Instead of only showing you the benefits on the one way to go, we would like to show you all options you derive when using our components in servo drives. On the one hand side, like shown on the left side, you can aim for higher power density. So compared to an IGBT at the same rating, you can even get up to 12 ampere extra current out of the system in the same frame size, depending on the rating of the MOSFET you are using. This extra current is possible by still maintaining the same junction temperature. Or, like shown on the right hand side, you can utilize in order to improve the lifetime or even reduce cooling efforts. The delta T at the same output current, which gets reduced significantly in case of using silicon carbide MOSFETs, by up to 65 Kelvin. Therefore, the cool SIC MOSFET enables fanless drives, higher currents for a given frame size, and even more. Not only servo drives profit a lot from this new product. Looking into, for example, small chargers such as for CAV forklift trucks, etc. The new SMD package offers a very good fit for passive cooling or water-cooled systems with IMS boards. It enables a set very compact designs with, as mentioned, lower manufacturing costs than TO-based assembly. Up to 2% efficiency improvement can be reached by doubling the power density, which would cut the charging times in half. One silicon carbide switch is better than two silicon switches because you only have half of the switches in your system, therefore you only need half of the gate drivers, and you can reduce your conduction losses by 50%. Therefore, you can double the power density or reduce cooling efforts significantly. Your system becomes much more simple and even more reliable to the lower part count. Less parts on your bomb means less parts that can break. You might ask yourself now, how is this all possible? This is possible because in this new package, we on one hand use the powerful Cool SIC Trench Silicon Carbide MOSFET chip with a very unique and rugged assembly technique. This we market under .xt interconnection technology. Some of you might already be familiar with this related to our silicon power modules. Now we introduce this .xt interconnection technology also for silicon carbide MOSFETs in a discrete package. I would like to give you a very short taste of the differences, including the upsides of this new technology versus classical die attachment in a couple of minutes. Let's start with the classical interconnection technologies. The classical way of die attach is based on soldering. There is a lead frame based on copper on which a chip is placed. In order to attach the chip onto the lead frame, a solder paste is added and a joint between the lead frame and the chip is formed 
with this solder material. The new .xt interconnection technology uses a special backside metallization, therefore no additional material is needed between the lead frame and the chip. After heating up this stack and applying a little pressure, we form a so-called diffusion solder joint. So in the end, no additional material is needed between the chip and the lead frame. As of this, we get a very powerful and strong die attach without any solder voids. Utilizing this technology, we can significantly reduce the RTH by up to 25%. And maybe even more important, especially for pulse, the set TH in the millisecond range is reduced by almost 50% compared to standard soldering. It's not only, as we believe, the best chip combined with the best interconnection technology. It's even more. In order to outperform everything that is currently available, we have even optimized the SMD package to achieve best available switching performance by including an extra sense source driver pin and reducing the isolation effort on PCB by extended creepage and clearance of more than 6.1 millimeters. Again, a slide I personally really like since it is showing all benefits for our customers at a glance. We now can dissipate more power due to lower RTH, we can afford a higher power loss because the delta T is kept at lower levels. This gives us either up to 14% extra current, we can double the switching frequency that would significantly reduce the size of passives, or we can simply operate the system at up to 15 Kelvin lower temperatures, which gives us up to 80% longer lifetime. With this new technology, we are sure to be able to offer an alternative to today's classic B6 solution, for example used in servo drives, which currently are realized either with a TO-based, discrete-based device, or even with frame-based power modules. What all of the current solutions need is a heatsink. With our new product and the optimized thermal behavior, including the power chip technology inside, we believe that very small, compact and even smart designs can be realized based on SMD components without the use of additional heat sinks. In order to be able to show you all the possibilities and options and benefits, we have created a reference design for you that you can see here. To show you how this technology can be used in a real application. Showing you the size of this system versus a standard book-sized inverter you can see on the scratch on the left side. The reference board shows you how such an inverterized motor could be realized with the inverter directly connected to the motor. The reference design will be orderable by the end of this year. So let's summarize today's content. Together with our strong and competitive trench-based silicon carbide MOSFETs, now in an optimized SMD package, using the newest technologies in order to improve the ruggedness and stability, comes the new family of 1200 volt cool SIC MOSFETs in SMD package. This offers the highest efficiency for servo drives, enable even passive cooling solutions or fanless drives allowing compact solutions by reducing the part count and form factors. Cool SIC together with .xt interconnection technology. Said that, I would like to thank you for your attention, goodbye for today, and see you soon for more news and upcoming products.